Hi, I'm Greg DeRocher from SafeRideForKids.com. Today I wanted to help you understand a little bit about vehicle seatbelt systems and how you can use them to properly restrain your child restraint. Uh, you know, your rear facing or your forward facing uh, car seat. So there's really two main principles or places that we need to look in order to understand the vehicle seatbelt locking system. You know, as a child passenger safety technician, one of the most common misuses that we find in vehicles is that the vehicle seatbelt isn't in a locked mode. And what happens is the parent buckles the child restraint in, and if they don't lock the vehicle seatbelt, what happens is as they drive around town, that child restraint becomes looser and looser, and maybe you've experienced the same thing. Well, today we're gonna to teach you how to fix that so that never happens again, and your child will be properly, uh, their safety seat will be properly restrained if there ever is a crash. So there's two places that the seat belt can lock. One is at the latch plate, but most common these days is actually here in the vehicle's retractor mechanism. The retractor is the part of the seat belt system that pulls in the extra webbing. Now the way that we access the locking mode is if we very slowly pull the seat belt all the way to the end. And then, in order to test and to see if your vehicle has a switchable retractor, in other words, the mode where it goes in and out, or the mode where it only gets tighter, the locked mode, is to allow about six to eight inches of webbing back into the retractor, and you're gonna be listening to see if you, or to hear if it clicks as the seatbelt goes back in, that's one indication that you have access that locking mode. The second is to pull gently back on that webbing to see if it's locked. So again, you allow six to eight inches back in and then try without jerking it to pull that webbing back out. And this vehicle has a switchable retractor, which means that the retractor locks the vehicle seatbelt to properly uh, keep the child restraint tight. So if there were a child restraint here, a, a car seat, what we would do is feed the vehicle seat belt through either the rear facing or the forward facing belt path, buckle it into the vehicle's buckle. At that point, we would then pull this all the way out to switch the retractor, allow that to go back in and pull and tighten the, the child restraint into the seat with the seat belt in that locked mode. Now, if in your vehicle, if you pull this out all the way to the end and you allow the webbing to go back in and it comes back out, then you're gonna look to the latch plate to lock. And we're gonna move to another vehicle to demonstrate that. Okay, so here we're gonna demonstrate the locking latch plate. So in order to test the latch plate to see if the latch plate itself is the locking mechanism in the vehicle, you're going to buckle it into the buckle and then you're gonna lift on the lap portion. And what you notice is that the lap portion is locked even though this part, the shoulder portion is loose, it's not pulling through the latch plate. And that's really the test to determine if you have a locking latch plate as opposed to a locking retractor. So thanks for joining us in this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, come visit us at saferideforkids.com.